Solving the inequality. Again, here we want to find all the values of x that make this a true statement. Now, a tempting thing might be to multiply both sides of the equation by 3x minus 2. Multiplying by anything whose sign you're unsure of, the sign of 3x minus 2 depends on the value of x. If I multiply both sides here by something that's positive, the inequality is preserved. If I multiply both sides by something that's negative, the inequality won't be preserved, it will be reversed. All right, Multiplying by a negative or dividing by a negative means we have to reverse the inequality. Since I don't know in advance what sign that term there is going to take, 3x minus 2, that would be a bad idea to multiply by that. But one way to proceed that always works with inequalities is to compare everything to 0. Okay, So what we're going to do here is subtract 1 from both sides. Get a common denominator. Be careful here with this minus sign to distribute it correctly. So we have 2x minus 3x is negative x. Negative 1 minus minus 2 is plus 1 over 3x minus 2. So now I have this rational expression, and I want to know everywhere that it's less than or equal to 0. Well, we're going to use the sign chart idea again. All right, so to see where our rational expression is less than or equal to 0, I need to determine first where all the possible sign changes in this expression can occur. And those are going to occur at places where the function is undefined, that occurs here at 3x minus 2 equals 0, or x equals 2 thirds, or where I have a 0 for this rational expression. And that occurs where the um, denominator, I'm sorry, the numerator is 0, which is when x is 1. So I'm going to make my sign chart. We'll put nd for not defined. And now I need to check values in between. For instance, if, if I put in uh, 1,000 or 2 or whatever, I see up here that I have a negative number divided by a positive number. So we're negative out there. Likewise, if I put in a number just to the left of 1, like 0 0.9, this is positive, And 3 times 0 0.9 minus 2 is positive. So we're positive in here. Right, so that's not part of our solution. Like if we want to know where we're less than or equal to 0. Likewise, if I put a number down here, perhaps the easiest one is 0 on this subinterval. If I put in 0 for x, I get 1 over minus 2 is negative. So I'm interested in everywhere the function is, this expression is less than or equal to 0. That's to the left of 2 thirds here, but not including 2 thirds because it's undefined at 2 thirds. And to the right of 1, including 1, because we're 0 there. So we're going to go from minus infinity to 2 thirds. And from 1 to infinity.